Okay, I guess we should put that light in there. That would be here. Uh, point lights, fine. Uh, do uh oh, uh, warning. Set world rotations. Pending kill. I guess. Whatever. I don't know. Um, I do like moving this up by the way. I realized that, uh, remember I was having the debate whether or not to add here or move this up. It is better to add move up here uh, because if we did it here we would officially change the location so the bomb would spawn up in the air. We would have to subtract whatever we added. So it is actually better just to move this up however high you want it to be above your thing. You could, if you wanted to adjust this, it would be, by the way, uh, there we go, set relative transform or location. Um, zero, zero, zero is actually, I believe, however, just keep in mind that zero, zero, zero is actually, dang it, I hit the wrong thing. Uh, back to like that, okay? So you may want to store its original wherever you want it, you know. Just I'd make it a variable to be honest, <laughs> and just set it set relative rotate uh, location to wherever you want. And let's see, okay. So the the point light, let's make it red. Okay, that is pretty. So I got some blue in there. I do. Don't like you, get out. It's crank intensity. Let's just see how that feels. And the point light needs to be up a little bit. So we'll just say one. So that it is not coplanar with the ground. That's much better. Okay. That's fairly bright. I don't have a way to take damage, I believe, so all this is a kind of the damage thing is a mute point. Uh, however, um, I think okay, uh, okay, it gets radio impulse. So if you ever uh, want to say relative transform of zero, you can just split that and then you don't have to actually plug anything in because it pulls values in there for you. See, it'll compile. Um, otherwise, just so you know, and so we combine that. We try to compile. Oh, interesting. Maybe because I split it once? I don't know. But yeah, normally it says, oh, you got to put something in there. And what we'll do... Add radial force component, and then I believe it's fire impulse. Yeah, it is, boy. Um, this 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 should be spawning. Honestly, this this shouldn't be doing anything here. This should be spawn grenade. This bomb timer, actually, to be honest, this this should spawn a bomb here. Um, pretty much here. So this right here should actually spawn a bomb. And, and at this point, to be honest, uh, I'm going to end the video because we've accomplished what we needed to do. It does, in fact, you can set the size of that uh, widget uh, to be anything you want. To be honest, the red is really hard to see against the red light. I can't even see that at all. So let's just do a little bit of cleanup on that. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now you can see it pretty much through the thing, and then boom. Now there's a lot more you could do. You could take the light and have its intensity be based on percent. Um, so many things you could do. So it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. You could have it flashing at a higher impulse by taking. Delta world seconds and multiply that by C 
sign right um, however however fast you want this to go would actually be just another multiplication on this so you would promote that to something like speed or uh, interval or phase let's call it phase Okay, so that's going to go from basically negative 1 to 1. So we need to bias that. I don't know if we actually have that here. I mean, technically, it's kind of like that. Depends on what order you do things, but essentially, a sine wave is just going from negative 1 to 1. So if you want it to go from 0 to 1, you need to crunch it down by half and then move it up, right? But if you um, if you move it up first, you gotta you know it, it's kind of weird. So what I tend to do is I I cut it in half first, so it's going from 0.5 to negative 0.5, and then I add 0.5. So we multiply by 0 0.5, and then we add. What the fuck is that? That's an item to an array. Float plus float, uh, 0 0.5. And now it'll oscillate between 0 and 1 instead of negative 1 and 1. I don't know if this would do the same thing. It might, but I don't like what it's outputting. That certainly don't look green to me, so piss off, buddy. And we'll go here. And let's see. Just probably this might might or might not work. Um, what did the, we set the point light intensity here? So the phase... Um, The phase, I think, should actually default to 1, and it should be increasing over time. So what we'll do is over time here, because remember, we're still we're going to be ticking the whole time. As soon as it ends, this whole thing's gone anyway. So, because of the destroy, right? Uh, let's take phase, stoop that guy, and we'll just add. I don't want to increment it. I kind of want to just add, like, you know, like 0.01. Um, and then we'll we'll set phase back to it just by dragging it right on the end there. And we'll cut that in. Really needs to be a quick way to do that. Just like hold control and drag it to the line or something. Click double click like a thousand times, it'll work. Okay, so something like that. And uh, that's fine. Phase. Now, we're going to set intensity. It's the simplest way to fiddle with a light, right? We can do it right after here. Do that. I don't know if this is correct, if I should be using the radians one or. <laughs> I don't know the math that well. I'm sorry. You just never know what what gets piped, you know, changed down the line. So, okay, let me think. Uh, I think that could be it. Or it's zero. What am I getting out of phase? It's like stuck at point 0.5. Um, you know, delta world seconds isn't isn't the correct thing. Um, let's just do that. Phase needs to go up way faster. 
Okay, so this is actually just going to be, um, <laughs> all right, need another one here. <laughs> Jesus. I guess I could call that seed, but uh, you basically need the same thing here. They both need to increase. Well, I guess they don't, but I'm going to do it this way anyway because it's going to be cool. I want it, the thing is I want the, I want the pulse to have a very vibrant feel. So I'm trying some silly math here. Bear with it. You can end the video if you want right now. I mean, it's still over. I'm, I, already did, I, thought I, I thought I made that clear, hopefully, to everybody that this is just fluff now. Um, we're just fiddling with it. So I'm going to go crazy there. Uh, and then I'm going to go... Uh, you know what? I'm going to go crazy there, too. Let's see what happens. And it doesn't really do too much. All right, let me see. Maybe s okay. Hang on. It's got to go back in. I don't know about this yet. It's barely getting to one. So, oh, that's the other thing I got to do. I forgot. Um, the act this actually needs to be based on its actual intensity. So we need another multiply here. And this is the point light's intensity, which I'm just going to cheat and say copy and just put that in. Because I just put a drastically absurd number to make sure everything was working. This this will all be tuned later. You could get the point light's intensity at the start. You know, that's what I would do. Just get it and then set it, you know, to a base intensity or something. But oh I gotta make sure that let's not do that yet. Because I still I'm still unsure about that, how this sign sign's really feeding through. I'm really not getting a very fast up and down, that's for sure. So maybe some of these really need to be kicked up a notch. Um, period goes up 0 0.1. Uh, 1.1.1. 1 .1 .1. You know what, I'm about sick of this. Uh, not timer. I'm about to go for the old timeline and just end this. Doop. Let's go. Shift, shift. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I know this is kind of cheesy. The thing about the, this though is I don't know how long it's supposed to go for. All I could really do here is kind of pulse this, you know? That's the thing, like, this is only like a second and a half, so it's going to go, and then it's just going to sit flat at zero. Plus, this whole thing needs to come up anyway, it just should be going like that. So, yeah, this idea sucks too. I got to think of a better idea. Ooh, that's interesting. How smart are you? I'm talking to the guy who made that. You smart person. You sound smart. I don't know how to do that kind of shit. <laughs> how the hell do you do that, dude? You're fucking way smarter than I am. And you should feel the same. Whoever made that. If you don't know how to make that, you're stupid. Just kidding. All right, let me think. Okay, I got something a little bit better, but I'll show that in a sec. I mean, I'm getting an error, and I think what I need to do... It's actually unenable tick because I think it's destroying. I don't know, it's weird though. Because how could it go to destroy? If it goes down here, it shouldn't have been trying to do this. It's trying to set the world rotation. 
Oh, I see. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is in the wrong spot. Um, we actually need to go here, then here. So we only need to set the world rotation of that thing as long as this is actually irrelevant. Yeah, this is correct now. Because it was going to destroy and then it did a then. You can't do that. Uh, that was my mistake. So let's uh, lesson learn there. Uh, you can see that it's not too bad. But my time seems off now. One, two, it seems very off. Um, total time. So initialize gets ran. It's, all this is okay. The total time is five. It doesn't feel like five seconds. It, how come it did before? One, two. I mean, that's like two seconds. Uh, that was. This is the problem with using this. Uh, we really should be using a, a more accurate way of counting time. Um, it is kind of difficult to do though. Why would that... Wait, what am I checking? Total time... Oh shit. That's not right. Okay, um, I need that to speed up. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to multiply that by like two over time. Okay, way too much. Okay, too fast. Uh, again, uh, this this should probably go and lerp, actually. Um, lerp uh, float, I believe. Yeah. So the period and the alpha is actually nice and easy to use here boom right there so what I'll do is so set period to that using this alpha then we'll move forward that's fine let's get rid of this stupid math that sucked let's pull this down and let's say do do uh, hmm now we'll um, one, two, okay. Nope. One hundred. Doesn't feel like uh, that's actually changing. Let me uh, check that real quick. Okay. So what I'm doing here, by the way, is I'm adding period and phase. Phase just increments by one every time, so it's a fairly linear movement forward. However, period should be actually, um, I think what I want to do is actually multiply these guys.
Uh, and then what I have is just kind of a multiplier on top of that just to get the sign moving forward fa fairly fast in the beginning because if you just feed it if you don't feed it fairly high values uh, sign actually its period is actually fairly slow it's it's going like zero to one and then it comes back this was correct this does bias it from the zero to one range okay from negative one to one positive you know if we look at the the lines here on the grid any anyone we'll call this the middle okay the line above it here would be one this would be negative one so we shrink it to half so now it's going from here to here and then we shift that up so now it's going from here to here this being the zero point so we now have a oscillation on zero to one but this right here I'm a little sketchy about this doesn't really feel like that's doing anything this might be super crazy now let's see yeah so this needs to be like from 1 to maybe 10. It's almost on entirely at the end. So that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Um, I think maybe it could be 5 though. Now this should scale with this time here, which should be nice. The, the entire time it feels like it's right about to explode, if you ask me. Um, maybe I'll pull th th this to half of that. <clears> hmm, <throat> not too bad. Let's do another fun thing though. Let's slurp from green to red. Based on our percent, in fact, I don't need that anymore. Uh, well, we're going to kind of do it over here. Let's try that. See if it gets uh, red as it uh, fills up screen. Is it yellow? Is it yellow? Is it going orange? Is it orange? Is it orange? Is it orange? Is it red? It's red. Bam. So now it lurps in color from... gets red and red and redder. So it blows up. And they'll just appear anywhere. <clears throat> These things are not set to draw in front of stuff. Uh, we don't want custom depth, we want no depth. Uh, is there actually something that you can do for that? Rendering, performance. Render. Let's check advanced real quick. I like it to be drawn on top, right? Of everything. The world. Z order, size to contents. Image draw as box border. No, I don't care. What's that? What's that? What's that mean? Ooh. Birthday. The fucking lights getting in the way. All right, uh, let's uh, let's kill the. Let's make that light not so skits. That's just stupid. 
better. I don't see that marquee thing. Is that only supposed to happen in the background? It's because I got it all dark. Is that what's going on? Uh, style. Where is style? Background image. Marquee image. Tint. I don't see that thing going through like it looks in the designer. That's a facade. It's a fallacy. I'm in them. Oh well. Let's just make it black and let's just not make it a marquee then. If being a marquee is going to be a jerkwad, get out of here. Uh, I don't know if I like black. Could make this, it'd actually be kind of cool to make this go the opposite color, but that, that would be really confusing. At one point, you wouldn't be able to tell them apart. They'd both be yellow. What is that? How does the widget or its child geometry or layout information being cached? This widget changes every frame, but you want it to still be an invalidation panel. You should make it as volatile instead of valid invalidating it every frame, which would prevent the invalidation panel from actually ever caching anything. I don't know what that means, and I kind of think I need it on. Um, no, I'm not going to click it. I'm not going to click it. I'll click. I'll turn that on when everything breaks and is broken, right? So that's one thing to try. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm okay here. I. I think. I think we about got it. That bar gets more red over time. Kablooey. The um. Like I said, the whole impulse thing here um, I, I think I need to set impulse strength to 50 trazillion and then we'll come here and fire the impulse at that location oh hey what's that what's that blinking light you guys see this? Hey, what is this? What is this? I kind of feel like it moved me. I hit something right in front of myself. What am I hitting here? So you have some kind of a collision thingy on it. What? what am I? Okay, hang on. The widget has a collision? There we go. Uh, you know what? Let's make that shorter. There's no need for that. Keep going into the wrong fucking one. Sorry. Oh shit. Um. This is incorrect. You know what?
I'm going to do this here. Uh, that way this can just be zero. It was, I think, probably working. It was just in the wrong spot. So before I destroy the actor, we'll fire progress finished. We won't tell the actor to do anything. The bomb, he's already set the bomb. The bomb's gonna do its own thing. He's he, he's firing and forget. Um Yeah. I kinda wanna do like that. This is probably gonna be insanity if it works. At the at the moment that it works, whatever it does is just gonna be retarded. Yeah, see it just disappeared. So it did work. Um so we'll see. 50,000, a nice even 50,000. We'll put one right in there. Yeah, I mean, that was fairly weak. So maybe 500. I like to put it below the point so it kind of pops things up. See? Blows it up. Should work on me. <laughs> Certainly did. Uh, I died from the kill Z. All right, it's working. An interesting way to rocket jump. Uh, when I got up close to it, I'm not sure I liked the. Um, they want to do that. But, if that's the case, I don't know if I can do that. Oops. Maybe I can see this better now. Yeah, there we go. All right? It's much better. Punt. Is the explosion not going off? Explosion's not going off. That's in world space. As is that. This is relative because it's a component. These are being spawned as external. This is relative. I think. Is it? Might not be. You know what, let's just do this. I know that's kind of silly. Alright, we've already sent it, so there's no need to get it again. Let's just use the value we got, right? Here's something I wish worked. Kinda does. Well, yeah, it did work. All right. So that's good. Oh wait, no. This is this is what I kind of wish worked. I wish I could control grab these off of here. You can't. You can't actually just pull one. It'd be nice if you could hold control and grab right here, and it would take it. But it it takes it from this side.
There we go. Silly, silly little thing, but kind of fun to play with, actually. All right, let's uh, do, do, do. Yeah, I think that should do it. The explosion, everything should be back in back in place. Yep. And the sounds correct. Should sound from my right ear. I think so. <laughs> I ended up right back where it was. That's pretty cool. How am I getting out of that? It's a radius on that thing. Okay, well maybe I can, maybe it's, maybe it defaults to zero. Because it is like not even touching me. So let's try like 50. Is that even doing anything? Is it not even just, does this not hurt me if I'm not in the air? If I stand right on it, is that doing anything anymore? And that thing really punts me something fierce. Ah, shit. Oh, I made it. But if I'm even. Am I really 150 away from that? Okay, that seems better, more like it. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's, I'm just bigger than I assumed. Pretty cool though. Be fun to play with. I mean, they don't stick to stuff. It'd be kind of cool to attach it to, to the stuff. Whatever you hit. Oh, shit. Fairly fun, fairly fun. Lights are cool. I need to, I need to do a little bit of optimization here. I do not want to cast shadows on those lights, especially if I won't be able to span them out. All right, so I think that's it, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys learned something. It was fairly simple, I think. Uh, we didn't do anything too weird, <laughs> or did we? Uh, this thing was weird. The math for the um, for the timer thing was a little strange, um, but but it worked. It worked out all right. And it's cleaned up. So there we go. This is Hippo signing off. Thanks for watching. Um, I am gonna split. I think well, the way that it's gonna work. I know you know. I I didn't know this until now, but. I think I'm going to split the first part out, which is very short. This part I'm just going to add. If I add this part, it will just be kind of a bonus feature in case anybody wanted to sit along with me as I hammer through this thing and try to figure out some silly stuff to do with it, right? Every single blueprint I make to me looks like a rifle, a sci-fi rifle. 
or like a sh like a little freighter ship. I don't know why. I just see it that way. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.